What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. I know this view is a little different. The height is higher, and the only reason is because of this tutorial, because I did have a few people ask me on how I do my hair. I will be looking at the screen on the camera more than I'm going to be looking at the lens, just because I need to see what I'm doing so I can show you guys correctly. But before I show you guys how I style my hair, I'm going to tell you guys what you guys should ask for when you go to the barber shop. I mean, I personally don't go to the barber shop because I cut my own hair. As you can see, it's not the best haircuts, but I do get the job done. So what you want to ask for when you sit in that barber chair is ask them for a mid skin fade, a high skin fade, or a low skin fade. I personally like mid skin fades better because basically what the skin fade is is obviously going down from bare skin to hair. That's basically all it really is. And a high, mid, and low just depends on where you want it to start, like where you want the gradiency of that fade to start. I personally cut my hair from a low skin fade because when I do it myself, I'm scared I'll mess up. So it does give me more room to mess up on if I do mess up. So basically a low skin fade would start from like right here, like basically lining up with your eyebrow. A mid skin fade would line up from just the corner of your temple basically, of like where that hairline is, where the arc meets the, the straight vertical line. And then a high skin fade just a little bit higher than that. Which there really is no gradiency to that at all, like just very little. So it all just depends on your preference on that aspect. And then on the top, as you can see, I keep it long. So basically you want to ask your barber to leave the top long so you can do like a comb over or a pompadour, any other hairstyle that you prefer. But that's what basically what my hair is meant for. And then if you want to, you can tell them to throw in the hard part right here. I put my hard part right on the corner of my tape just because that's how I like it. Some people get it like really inside like they go basically off of the long hair so it would be like all the way out here and then come all the way in here. And I'm personally not a big fan of that because it just makes, I don't know, it just looks unsymmetrical. It looks really weird. Some people can rock it, some people can't. I know I can't. It just doesn't fit my head shape. Well anyways, that pretty much sums up what you tell your barber. Now onto the styling part, only three things you need. Maybe four depending on how you like your hair. A brush, a blow dryer, and then the hair product of your choice. I bought this one because I thought it was going to have like a matte finish to it because it's, that's how I like my hair to finish. So what you want to do with your hair product is basically look, do your research and find out which one gets the finish that you want because there are shiny finishes, there are like moldable finishes, there are gel which makes it really hard. This one by the way is a styling paste. Now moving on to the way I style my hair, all you got to do is just brush the hair. I brush it to this like basically if I had a corner right here, that's where I brush it to every time. Sometimes I go to the side as I blow dry it. So I'll show you guys an example. All right, so as you guys saw, that's that easy. All you gotta do is just blow dry it to that side, to the back, to the side, and that's pretty much it. I know some of it's still wet because I'm gonna go back to the bathroom and do it since I can't really see that well in here. And also with these little hairs on the side, what you can do is just hold the blow dryer at this angle so it blows them up while they're wet, but mine dried up, so. That's why it's going to be a pain right now to dry this up again. So once you have it all dried up, or maybe a little damp, you can go ahead and get your styling product and throw it in there. And then brush it, get it to how you want it. And then what I do is I grab my fingers like this, kind of like a fork, I guess. And then I kind of just brush it through, and it gives it like those little spaces. You see how this one has like this, and then this one, and it just makes them thicker, I guess you can say. But if you have wavy hair like I do, and you don't like how this part of the hair kind of just rolls down, because as I walk and as I move... The hair, this hair does come down here as you guys seen in some of my videos. I kind of like it, but it annoys me because it just gets in my face. I feel it and it, it bothers me. So what you can do to avoid that is straighten your hair if you want. That's up to you. I don't do it. I don't really care. First of all, it takes too long. And second of all, I don't really care for this. I actually kind of like the wave it has, but I just don't, I just hate it when it goes down in my face. I do want to apologize to those who are here for just men's fashion and sneakers. I mean, this kind of is men's fashion if you guys think about it because it does have to do with the way you look, so... And that's why I decided to do it on this channel and not on my vlog channel. If you guys think I should implement more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. If you don't, also let me know in the comments below. I always listen to your guys' feedback, so it helps a lot. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by April 22nd, which is my birthday. But before I go, I do want to give a shout-out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Enrique Todd, just because he had a funny-ass comment in the last video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneak is signing out. This thing is so close. Look how to bend my arm. Mm.